Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to try to determine if these two events are mutually exclusive or independent. All right, what are they? We're tossing two coins. The probability of A is that the probability of coin one is equal to heads, and the probability of B is equal that both of them are tails. Now, when you think about it, if one of them is heads, then both of them cannot be tails. Those two events cannot happen at the same time, and therefore, both of these events are mutually exclusive. And so, if we draw a Venn diagram, then it would look like this. There's no overlap between events A and events B. They cannot happen at the same time, and therefore, the probability of A and B must equal zero. But are they independent or are they dependent events? Well, we learned that if two events are mutually exclusive, they cannot possibly be independent. So maybe they are dependent. Well, if two events are dependent, that means the outcome of one will affect the outcome of the other. All right, let's see if that's the case. So if A happened, B cannot happen. The outcome of A affects the probability of B. So let's look at it a little bit more. But anyway, if that's the case, if A happens and B cannot happen, and if the outcome of A affects the probability of B, then of course they are dependent events. So we can already fill this in. We know they're going to be dependent. They cannot possibly be independent events. All right, let's take a look. The probability of A is one half. Obviously, coin one can either be heads or tails, there's an equal probability. We know that probability of B is equal to one quarter, okay? Because there's only one out of four possibilities with two coins that both of them will be tails. But if we then combine the two, as we saw before, the probability of A and B, well, that's going to be equal to zero because they cannot happen at the same time. They're mutually exclusive. But now let's say that we look at coin one and we realize that coin one is equal to heads. Then we know that the probability of B occurring must be zero because once A, once A is heads, the probability of B has to be zero. There's no way they can both be tails. But if coin one equals tails, then the second coin has a probability of being tails half versus half being heads and therefore combined that the probability of both coins being tails now increases to one half. So from a probability of B equal to one quarter, if we toss both coins at the same time and we have a one quarter probability they both be tails, but if we toss coin one first and coin one happens to be tails, then if we throw coin two, there's a 50% chance that coin two will also be tails and then both of them will be tails. So you can see that the probability of B does depend upon the outcome of A. And therefore, again, that's why these two events are dependent events and they're also mutually exclusive. They cannot happen at the same time. You cannot have heads on one coin and both coins being tails. And that is how it's done.